Hi, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, there was a question yesterday about heritage pork, and I received uh, several more questions about it, <coughs> heritage pigs, and I thought that I need to explain that a little bit further. So I'm coming to you from the hanging room here on the farm, and this is where we hang pieces of pork after we butcher them. It's a, we have quite a bit in here right now. I'm just going to show you this little section right here. Um, a heritage breed of pork, if we feed them properly and we kill them at the right time of the year, we can add a little bit of salt to this bone area right here and then hang them in a, um, an environment that you would have from fall until spring and they'll warm up and cool down, warm up and cool down. This pork will actually cure. All right, so these pieces have not been in in refrigeration necessarily because sometimes it gets pretty warm in here but the uh, the pork because it's been fed properly and it's a heritage breed it will cure now a pig is an uh, unbelievably awesome uh, survival animal to have on the farm because he can eat things that you can't and this is several pigs in here but one pig would give you let's see one two three four pieces like this, and then several pieces like this, and about this much back strap, and here's the bacon right here. There's a bacon off, that's a half a bacon off of one side, right? And this happens to be a skinned bacon. We don't always skin them, but this will be good. And that just gets a little bit of salt and uh, dry cure spread on it, and then we hang them up. Now we can eat off of this until next fall time frame, all right? So that's, that's more of the reason why we want to use a heritage pig. If we just use a regular uh, hybrid white pig, the kind that comes out of uh, industrial ag, uh, this room would stink. It would absolutely stink uh, because that, that pork is uh, raised with really cheap fats and uh, it goes rancid really quickly. There's very little smell in here except for a couple of these pieces have been smoked, like this one here. That's why it's a little bit darker. But these hams are hard now and well on their way to complete cure. But uh, if people sometimes ask how long can you hang a ham for, uh, back in the old days when a farmer had a, a daughter born, a lot of times they would slaughter one of their bigger pigs and make hams out of it. And the hams would hang in the, in the uh, root cellar after they were cured, possibly smoked, and they would hang in there until her wedding. So this is long-term storage of meat. It's almost like they were made to, to do that. There's not any other animals that we do this with. You could never do this with a chicken or a piece of, uh, of beef unless you used a lot of salt. Okay, I hope that helps to answer the question on the heritage pigs. Um, and we do have them, by the way. And it is spring, so if anyone needs them out there, please let us know. We can show you how to get started with them. It's not a very expensive proposition if you follow the, the correct feeding criteria that we would outline. That's all for today. Thanks. Remember, anyone can farm.